Hello guys, welcome back to the Debug Arena. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can upload an image from your React application to your MongoDB and then fetch it. Before moving forward, I want you to know that there are many ways in which you can store the images to the database. But in this video, the procedure which I'm going to follow is that I will take the image file, convert it into the base64 and store that base64 as a string in our MongoDB. This is not the most efficient way to store the images because it can take a larger amount of memory. So if you are working for a bigger project, then don't follow this procedure. But if you are a beginner, then you can follow this because it takes less time and also it is very easy, not that much complicated. And also, if you want to know the most efficient way to store the images into a database, then please let me know in comments. I will cover that topic in the next video. So without any delay, let's get started. So this is my code. Currently, I am just displaying this message. So first thing, let me just create the input box. Yeah, okay. Now I will call here on change function on change I will call this function convert to base64 yeah let me quickly make this function and I will console this here let's see what is the output let me just open the console okay so I've given this image and you can see, yes, I'm ge getting this console. Okay. Now I have already written the function to convert the uh, this image to base64. Let me just paste it. Okay. So this is my function to convert this image, whatever we get it inside E, into a base64. And this will display our base64. Let's just check it out whether it is working fine or not. I will just refresh this. Yeah, I will choose any file. This and you can see that it is converting the image to base64. This is the thing which I am consoling. Okay, so this is done. Actually, it is very easy. Now what I will do, I will create a state name image okay and here I will write this image and here inside src what I will do I will just write here image and I will set this image inside this this base64 inside image so in this way we can preview whatever image we are uploading. For this we can just write condition that if image is equal equals to this or our image is null then we don't have to do anything otherwise we have to show this image. And also I will write here br tag. Now I will upload the image. Yeah, just downloaded it and you can see that the base64 is generated and also we are getting the preview of the image. Okay, now we are good. Okay, now let's move to our back end. So you can see here that this is my previous project only where I have taught you about Node.js and MongoDB from scratch. So if you don't know about the basics of Node and MongoDB, then you can watch that tutorial. So you can see that I have imported the express, I have imported this mongos. Also, this is my URL to connect to mongos. And this is the code where I am doing the connection. And you can see that I have already started the server. So now the first thing is to create a new schema. Let me just create a schema. I will name it image details.js. This is my previous schema. I will copy this paste it here you can see here here i have imported mongoose this is my schema name 
which I will change it to image. Previously, it was user schema. That's why it should have f name, l name, email, and password. Now we are creating a schema for only image. So I will write here image and give it as string type because we are going to store string here. This is my collection name, which I will write as image details, and I will just paste the name here and here. So this will create a new collection in our MongoDB. So just you can just save this. Now come here. We, now we have to import that. So we can import require image details. And also we have to import that model also. So I will write here images is equals to mongoose dot model and I will write this name image details so if you don't understand these things so you can watch my previous tutorial to understand it better okay now we are done now I will just go to bottom and create a new API so I will write here app dot so here I will receive so we can write here const base64 and we will receive it from our request.body okay done now we have to what we have to do is I will write here images which I have just created dot create so this is the function provided by mongodb now here i will write images which represent this field we have to store actually it is image so i will just write image and i will pass this base64 here now i will send here response dot send if this is okay i will send status as okay otherwise okay so let's see whether it is working or not let's come to our front end here i will create a button upload image okay i will create a function and i will call a fetch function here okay so this is my fetch function i will just write here Okay, let me just copy paste that name. So we'll write here upload image. Okay, I'm passing here base64. And inside this, I am passing an image. This image is this state. Now I will receive that as okay so my fetch function is also done you can see here that i have called this api and i am passing this base64 image here and i am consoling this data let me just open the mongodb also to check whether it is working properly or not you can see that this is my mongodb and currently here there is no collection name as image details okay so let me just take you through whatever we have done till now so first i have created this input box from which we are getting the image and after that we are calling this function which will convert that image into a base64 and we are storing that inside this state name image with the help of this state we can preview the image which we are uploading after that we have created our schema in which we are only storing image as a string and then we have created an api which is responsible for creating our images collection okay and after that i have created this function name as upload image which will be called when the button is this button is clicked and inside this i have called fetch function which is calling this api and to this api i am sending this base image so let's see whether it is working or not okay so 
uh, actually I have to call this not here. Here, okay. I will just come here, refresh this, and let's check it out whether it is working properly or not. So here you can see, I will select this image, open, and you can see we are getting preview. And when I click on upload, I'm getting the message that status is okay. I will come here. I will refresh this. I hope image detail collection should come yeah it is there and you can see that there is data here yeah now i will just click another image here and you can see the base 64 file has been generated i will click on upload the status is okay i will come here i will refresh this and it should have two data yeah okay so we are successfully uploading the image to our MongoDB. Now we just have to fetch it to our React application. So let's just quickly make the API for that also. I will write here. For this, I will be using the MongoDB function name as find. So what I will do, I will just write here images dot find. And this will find all. We'll just write then data and I will send this data one thing we have to call here await otherwise it can misbehave sometime so don't forget to add await we have to change the method here to get now let's see whether we are getting this or not so we can check it on a browser also we will just come here, write localhost 5000, paste this, and yes, I am getting the data. Now let's just call it inside our React application. So I will come here, I will create a new function here, and I will call this fetch function. I will give you my API name. I will change the method to get. I will remove these things. Now we can remove all these things. And will not just console, I will also set it inside the state. So I will create a new state here. Name as all image. I will write here set all image and we will pass our data dot data here okay that's it now just one thing remaining I will call all image here and map over it and inside this I can write this thing image And I can write data dot image. So let's see whether it is working or not. Oh, there are tons of error. And I'm getting all image dot map is not a function. So I will come here. Let's see. Come here. Just refresh this. Okay. Actually, uh, we have not. We have created this API to get our images, but we have not called it. So what I can do, I can call use effect here and here I can write like this. Let's see whether it will work now or not. And you can see here that this both these two are the image already uploaded. Okay, let me just design it a little beautiful. Not much, just giving a break here. Uh, yeah, okay. So you can see that this, both these two are the image which is already uploaded. And now I will upload the another image. Let, let's see whether it will work or not. So you can see I'm uploading this and when I will refresh this, it should have three images and yes. So in this way, you can easily upload an image from your React application to MongoDB using a base 64.
Now, if you want to know that how we can upload an image in the most efficient way, then please let me know in comments and I will cover that thing in the next video. That's it for this video. And if you found this video helpful, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.